get all those utility functions, let's add a second block that will prepare our data. And then we'll import all those files. Then we'll split the data on a value. Here we added some variables so that we could control the behavior if we wanted to reuse this pipeline for another data set. But we're setting a default value so that if we don't want to customize the variables, it'll still be able to use these values. All right, and we're removing these because we already have default values. Now let's run it and we can see the output.